Ladies and gentlemen, now is this the match for the Dynamic Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Championship. Here are the challengers. Hailing from West Africa and Denver, Colorado combined weight of 435 pounds. Here is the team of Modu Zapata and Princeton Travis! Here they come, Princeton Travis and Duke Modu Zapata from East Africa. Prince of Travis going through the fans, and the fans are more than happy to see him. It's kind of a hometown for Prince of Travis. He's got a lot of fans. And coming behind me, Mo Zapeta. He's a guy rushing barefoot. Obviously that comes not quite natural to him. He comes from East Africa, spends most of his time barefoot, and he feels comfortable that way. Unusual in the ring. That's how we go. I don't know, I don't think I could do that. I need to break stuff in my toes. Look at him, he's already up there. He's ready for that action. These guys look pumped up as the gold is on the line tonight. This is their opportunity to get gold around the first opportunity is a tag team to get gold around their way. And their opponents. They are the current Dynamic Wrestling Alliance Tag Team Champions. They're being led to the ring by the leader, Natasha Rivers, and the DWA Heavyweight Champion, Phantom, at a combined weight of 539 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Malice and Ghost Rider, the Army of Darkness! Heard the announcement, the Army of Darkness, the DWA Tag Team Champion, that makes them the best in all of the Dynamic Wrestling Alliance. They've held on to that goal for quite a while. Some say by underhanded means, nonetheless. They've held on to the goal, and that's all that matters. They know how to keep that goal around their way. Chanting PT, PT for Prince and Travis. You see a sign out there? 
We know who they're behind tonight. Uh-oh. Ghost Rider trying to take it away. It's a pretty low thing to do. And that Moduza Pecker is a big, big man. Just look at him right there next to his tag team partner. You can see the size of this man. We've got a lot of big guys for DWA. The Army of Darkness bragging about their gold. Well, they better enjoy because this could be their last opportunity. Every title reign is only three seconds away from being over. is this? Phantom hiding behind his manager? I just touched him! That and, was all! And notice how the belt just fell off. Look at that big yellow streak down his back showing. And his belt saying, I don't want to be around the waist of such a coward. <laughs> Referee explaining the rules to all the wrestlers. Phantom saying, what are you telling us for? We're the champions. We know the rules. We know what this wrestling's all about. Looks like Mo Duzapeta is going to start for his team. And Malice will start for the Army of Darkness. Now he's got to get Natasha Rivers out of the ring and Phantom to the floor so we can get this title match underway. Referee with both championships now. Oh, now all four competitors back in the ring. This one could start off hot. Prince and Travis and Moju Zapeta, they look ready. Army of Darkness using a lot of stalling tactics for which they are known. Referee saying this is for the championship. The champion saying, don't even show it to them. These are our belts. Now showing to the crowd. The titles are on the line. Finally, we have two guys in the ring. Are you ready, guys? Ready. Wait a minute. And there's the bell. Phantom kind of distracted by our camera here. Not sure if he even knows what it is. The shirt say, when I say do it, it gets done, huh? Well, clearly something's been getting done with all that gold in the Army of Darkness. Phantom's been feeling a little uh, under the weather. Today, he looks like he's his old self again. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing he's feeling better because this is a big title defense. And you definitely don't want to be at 70%, 80%, or anything less than 110% when the titles are on the line. Who's the pedic just circling around? He is ready to go. Look at him. Come on. Collar and elbow tie up. Whoa. Ghost Rider showing his power. I don't think Modus the Pedic expected that. It's the army always wearing these long sleeve shirts. You can't really tell what kind of build these guys have. How much time they actually spend in the ring. Clearly they're big men, but. I'm just showing a lot of power. Oh, but Moses is better showing his power. Perhaps a bit more of it. Little regrouping already. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Poor baby, my poor baby. I think 
Ghost Rider was a little embarrassed by that. Talking to the Phantom again. The one thing you don't want to do in a big match like this is turn your back on your opponent. The Bennett talks a lot about honor. But the opportunity's there. You can't just let it go. Whoa, look how high that man comes down. Pick the mid -second. Oh, another one. Can you imagine where those toes are? Kick to the midsection. What's going on here? Oh! Attack from both the top and bottom. Is this a big clothesline from the big African? It wasn't bad enough. Chris and Travis taking those legs out underneath made that impact so much more devastating. Oh, but that was a devastating shot indeed, and an illegal one. Clearly the referee did not see it because he's not even warning him. Why is he watching Zepeda? He shouldn't be watching the match. What's with this referee? Well, now he's getting one out, but a little too late. The double team was already done. But that's why these guys are champions. They know how to manipulate the referee, go behind his back. You don't get to become tag team champions by accident. Look at that. Every time the referee turns around, they are quick to capitalize on it. I mentioned that earlier. The Petra would not do it. When Ghost Rider turned his back, the Petra just wanted to do the honorable way. He just waited. Anytime the referee's back is turned, these guys take advantage of it. And quite frankly, that's what you've got to do to become champions of this sport. Referee saw the eye rake that time, made him break it immediately. But again, too late, the damage was done. Referee asked him if he wants to quit. He's not ready for that. Big snap suplex! Oh, you can see the pain. Holding that back. Obviously, he came down really, really hard. Now it's complaining about the count a little bit, but it looks like a regulation count to me. Look at that. He's trying to nonchalantly choke out Travis, but the referee, for once the referee was actually there and saw it. But still, another tactic by the Army of Darkness. Clearly it's legal. Can't see it too well from this vantage point, but the referee's right in there watching it. The fans cheering him on. Let's be checking the arm. That's one. The fans are trying to rally this guy. But it may be too... Uh-oh. Whoa! There it is. He's still in. I thought it was done. But Travis showing us he is not done yet. Malice still holding tight with that... Oh, shot to the ribs. And another one. Not too much behind him, though been taking a lot of punishment. Malice going behind the referee and a thumb to the throat. But again, an illegal tactic. But he did it behind the defense. If you don't like the you have got to respect him. You've got to respect for their ability to go behind the referee's back. Keep that guy just... Now they're bringing the... Oh, big fist drop! And again, they have the referee distracted. Another illegal double team. No tag there whatsoever. Malice saying they, they tagged, but the referee didn't even question it. Who is this referee? Maybe he's too excited wearing that TWA shirt. Uh, Ghost Rider might be going a little bit too far. Now, manhandling that referee could cost him a match. Of course, then again... You can lose the match by disqualification, but not the championship. They seem to have no fear of getting DQ'd. It's every single member of the Army of Darkness has taken their shot at Spencer Travis, who is down again in the corner. Travis up. Big backbreaker. 
Crowd again trying to rally. Travis. You hear the chant? PT, PT. The Petter was clapping along with him, trying to get him. Keep cheering, keep chanting, and to help rally this guy. Christian Travis, he's one of those guys. If he can hear the crowd behind him, that'll just pump him up because he wants to please the crowd. Iris flipping the ropes. Whoa! Oh, it's good One! Travis clearly weakened. He was unable to follow up with that. And Malice was right there to measure him and take him down to the mat once again with a big leg. And a knee drop. Back to that headlock. Perhaps the reverse chin lock. Can't really see from this vantage point. But Mozu, the big African again, trying to get that crap. Get out my head! Ghost Rider complaining that his head is hurting. What's Phantom doing up on the ring? Doesn't he realize this isn't his match? I know the guy's not all there, but... You could almost say this is a handicap match. Three on two. And Travis, making a comeback now. Big drop kick! Grabbing every bit of energy he had left to take him down, but he's unable to follow up with it. He has got to make a tag as soon as possible, and he's trying to. You can see he just does not have much left. He's got to make a tag as soon as as soon as possible. He's been triple teamed all throughout this match. Was the tag made? And the referee didn't see it. Modu said he made the tag. As long as that guy's arms are, he only has to be halfway through the ring to make the tag. And they're working him over in the corner again. Again, no tag, I believe. Kicks to the midsection, that one looked a little low. Iris Rip. Double clothesline! And by fortune's fate, Christian Travis landed on the side closest to his corner. This is his best opportunity yet. And he makes the tag! Here comes the big African. The big clothesline. The grab from the line, another one. He's been waiting for that big drop kick. Another one. Big size 16 shoes. Well, I shouldn't say shoes. That's size 16 feet. Off the rope. Oh! Whoa! And he came a long way down and nobody was home. A great opportunity has passed. Elbow to the back. The champions showing why they are champions. When the opportunity presents itself, they are there to take full advantage of it. But he's taking him in the corner. That could be a mistake. Did he tap? Whoa. I don't know if Travis is even ready yet. Maybe he's just on purpose, feeling that Travis is not yet ready. What did he tell him to do? Get the belt. What's, What's he going to do with that belt? They've got full control of this match. Setting him in. Reversal. Oh, Miles didn't watch what he's doing. He doesn't even know it. Another hurricane runner. Two. That's it. That's it. We have new tag team champions here in the DWA. I don't believe it. By the decision of the referee, in the time of 11 minutes, 20 seconds, here are the winners, the new DWA Tag Team Champion, Mojo Sakura, and Christian Travis! You heard the official word, the new Tag Team Champion! And the army of darkness left in the ring. They don't know what to do. The doctor River is taking the mic. Garbage! The music! What? And they win! What? What's this? All the crowd! What the way to set up? Find it, company! Ah, she is irate!
I've never seen anybody so angry. Tasha Rivers claiming that Malice should have been disqualified for using the belt and they should still be champions. You know the Army of Darkness. Believe me, my heart goes out to you. And I really feel bad that you guys have lost those DWA tag team titles. However it may have been, they are no longer around your waist. Those dudes the Prada. And Prince and Travis are now the reigning champions. However, Army of Darkness, this is your lucky day. I'm feeling a little bit generous. Right as the wrestling czar of the DWA, I will go ahead and not give you your titles back. But I will sign you to a rematch at the Parkland Theater on August 1st. In Sailor Park, Ohio, just right down the road, because I think that my good friends, Princeton Travis and Mojo Zapata, will kick your band of freaks all over this ring once again. So if you think that you can hang with them again, then show your ugly faces at the Parkland Theater on August 1st, and you'll get your title shot. Well, that's it. David Robinson refusing to return the belt, but he gave them an immediate opportunity at the very next event on August 1st in Sailor Park. Have you ever seen anyone so angry? Ladies and gentlemen, the announcement has been made. You heard it here. Saturday night, August 1st, the Army of Darkness will get their rematch for the Tag Team Championships that they just lost. Disappointed, Alex.